If you head over to the standard Oracle GitHub repository and head into the sample schemas folder, you'll see we've got scripts there to install the seven sample schemas. What are they got? Human resources, order entry, product management, PM, SH, sales history, BI, business intelligence, customer orders, oh, inventory management, it's an IX schema and XML DBs in there as well. If you're a dinosaur like myself, you remember that the sample schemas used to be distributed on the CD or the tape, or you could actually get it via the Oracle installer. It would actually be encompassed as part of the installation package. By changing this to being a GitHub repository, it means we could update it as people wanted to make changes, we could add to it, etc., without having to wait to cut a new CD as it used to be, or have a brand new release of the Oracle database or the Oracle installation files. But that gives us a bit of a dilemma. If you're a long-term customer, you'll be familiar with how the scripts used to be packaged and distributed on the CD. And there's a very good chance that customers may have built infrastructure, scripts, automation around that. There was a particular way they were installed, a particular way they were laid out, etc. The problem, of course, is, is if you're not a long-term customer and you've never seen the scripts before, then this folder structure can be a little bit daunting. If you head over to the GitHub repo readme file for the sample schemas, you can see there's a fairly uh, lengthy list of instructions to follow, which is all fine if you've done this in the past with the sample schemas on the CD, but if you're new to Oracle, that's a little bit tough to do because for a start, you need to have a Perl installation, you need to make sure you have access to SysDBA and other restrictions there that might make it difficult if you're just a student trying to get up and running with some sample schemas. Now, we're always happy to have feedback here at Oracle and there's a project underway to make the whole concept of delivering sample data into the Oracle database a lot easier. But in the interim, I wanted to do something that would make the installation of the existing sample schema scripts much easier for the novice. So rather than have to run Perl scripts, rather than have to go and come up with a particular folder structure, what I did was went into each of the scripts and built a consolidated single script that you could run. Now, the three most common sample schemas I see out in the wild, so to speak, are the HR schema, the SH schema for more analytics, and our new customer order schema because it has some JSON facilities inside it, which let's face it, JSON's all the rage. So for those three, I consolidated them into a single installation script. So you only have to run one script, don't have to do any Perl adjustments, etc., and you don't need SysDBA access. Also to make it easier, I put a whole lot of preliminary checks in place. So it'll go through and make sure that your environment is correctly set up to make sure that the scripts have the absolute best chance of succeeding with the very first run. Let's run through it and see how this works such that you can make your sample scripts installation super easy. So the first thing you do is run sample schema underscore quick start. And the first thing it'll do is make sure you're connected okay and give you a little bit of guidance if you're running Express Edition and you've never connected before to hopefully give you at least a fighting chance of getting connected to your database. Then we'll make sure that we can spool output to a file because we need that in terms of creating log files. And we'll make sure we're connected to a pluggable database because for those people that are new to Oracle, it can be hard to discern between a container and a pluggable. So we're gonna try guide you, make sure you're on the right database to be installing this onto. And if you're connected as the DBA, it's gonna drop the entire schema. If you're connected as the schema itself, you've already had the HR schema, for example, installed before, it's just gonna drop the relevant objects. Now it checks all the privileges are required if you're installing this as a DBA, plus that the table space you want to use exists. And we come up with a password that you should note down because that'll be the password you'll use once the installation has completed. And then off we go. We literally go through all the bits and pieces. And at the end of it, we give you a little summary to make sure that everything worked out okay. And the job is done. No Perl, no multiple scripts, no folder structures, just one script. Run it. It guides you through and we're off and running. If you already have the HR schema installed or any of these schemas installed and you want to refresh it, basically start anew, you've maybe damaged the tables or added to the tables, you wanna start with a fresh schema. Now you don't have to be a DBA anymore. You can simply connect as HR, with the password I had before, and I can simply run the exact same script. It will detect the fact that you're connected as HR, go through the same tests. You won't need as many privileges as before because you're just in the isolated schema now, but the same process goes through. We create the tables, double check everything's fine, and the job is done. There you have your sample schemas. So if you're new to Oracle, hopefully that's gonna make the whole process much, much easier. You can grab these quick start scripts from my GitHub repository. I'll put a link somewhere on the, on the page here, and simply grab those scripts, put them onto your local machine, 
run them against your local database. They'll also run against cloud databases as well, and you are good to go.